Hello cookbook friends! My name is Carrie with Cookbook Divas. If you are new to the channel, welcome! We're going to look through this cookbook together today, and if you're returning, welcome back! Thanks for watching again! I picked this book up at my local library because I'm a huge fan of John Gregory Smith's cookbooks. He's written Mighty Spice, he's written Fast Feasts, he wrote Orange Blossom and Honey, which I have a cookbook review of on our channel. It is Magical Moroccan Recipes from the Souks to the Sahara. He also wrote Turkish Delights, which I think I looked through also. Anyway, let's get started. Vibrant Recipes from the Heart of Lebanon. This came out in 2019. And here's a little map. And getting started. It's by Kyle Books. Let's check out the table of contents. We start off with Meza. Then we move on to vegetables, roasts and grills, stews, rice and grains, breads and pastries, and desserts and sweets. Here is Discovering Lebanon and its Hidden Beauty. I'll read that later when I'm not sitting here with you. The Lay of the Land, Kitchen Confidential. So it's, we're going to learn a lot about the country too. Okay, first chapter, Meza, little appetizers that you start off a meal with. So this, I'm going to need glasses because my ring light is so bright in my eyes. All right. Beet, radish, and tarragon salad is the first recipe of the cookbook. His cookbooks are already always gorgeously photographed. Uh, he says that Meza is a popular way of eating in Lebanon, flooding the table with a dazzling display of small dishes to tuck into. Well, that makes a lot of cleanup, but it's delicious. These can be a prelude to a main course or served alongside as accompaniments. The next one is Acra Smashed Lemon Chickpeas. I actually had some lemon chickpeas last night, but they came out of a can from Trader Joe's. Shuf Mountain Spring Tabbouleh. Now I'm probably going to mispronounce some of these location names. Sorry, I'll do my best, but I've never heard a lot of these words before. There's a recipe for smoked eggplant and tahini dip and one for classic fatouche. No pictures, but we know what dips look like. That's okay. Oh, there is a picture. It just followed it up. Gorgeous. Now I'm hungry. Uh, Dima's Bulgur Salad, homemade labna, which some cultures call labni or labne. Armenian cucumber salad, cilantro, garlic, and chili potato wedges. Sounds amazing. Here's a garlic chicken wings with cilantro and pistachio pesto. And I can't show you the whole book, so I need to skip ahead because that's not fair to the author. But I want to show you this chili and garlic pickled eggplants. That looks yummy. And I don't think I have eggplant in the house right now because I just cooked it up, but I did it Italian style. Here's the author in Lebanon, I presume. Here is a sticky pomegranate sujuk or sujuk. It looks really gross, but I bet it tastes amazing. It's just hard to photograph green and brown food. Stuffed grape leaves. I've still never stuffed my own. Have you? Let me know in the comments below if you often stuff grapes. Vegetable chapter. Yay, I'm a vegetarian. This is beautiful. Grilled eggplant feta. He says it's his version of the heavenly Lebanese layered dish eggplant feta. Traditionally, eggplants are roasted or fried in chunks and then completely covered in a rich tahini sauce. Here's orzo and feta stuffed peppers. Roasted carrots with tahini and black sesame seeds. Ooh, a mighty Medina falafel sandwich. I'm not a big falafel fan if it's dry, but if I make it myself, I can kind of try to up the moisture level. Farm table tomato salad. Gorgeous, and that would be so nice in summer. A whole roasted halloumi and citrus salad. Some uh, tour tourism and travel photo. Purslane pomegranate and roasted zucchini. What is purslane? Let me know in the comments below and I'll go research it before I do another cookbook look through. <gasps> Creamy spinach and pumpkin kibbeh. That looks amazing. Great autumn and winter food. Garlicky duma dumplings. Oh, look, that's unusual. I've never seen little tiny dumplings like that. That's really cool. Uh, here's what he wrote. I didn't expect to be eating dumplings in Lebanon, but there I was in the pretty village of Duma feasting on macroon tomb, which means pasta with garlic. Hmm. That word I was trying to pronounce is B-T-O-U-M. Hmm. Tripolian okra stew, but there's a picture of something else, not the stew. Okay. 
Syrian spaghetti with pomegranate and lentils. I would eat the heck out of that. I've never thought of that combination. That's pretty cool. Now we're in the roasts and grills chapter. I need to try to show you less. Rita's beef shawarma. Hole in the wall beef skewers. Lazy lamb skewers. Aleppo sour cherry kebab. And it uses, of course, cherries, sugar, pomegranate, molasses, ground lamb. Kibbe with onion. Who's getting hungry as we're looking through this? I am. Kebab king kick chicken shawarma. Excuse me, that was a tongue twister for some reason. And here's sumac and seven spice roast chicken. Do you have sumac in your spice cupboard? Let me know in the comments below. I do, but I don't often use it. Here's a saffron scented Christmas chicken. Okay, moving to the next. Oh, charred octopus. Chili and mint shrimp. I, don't, I need to show you less photos. Sunset scallops, spicy tahini sea bass, mackerel machuli, machui, rock star roasted cauliflower. Hmm, I have cauliflower in the house. What makes it rock star? Cilantro, sumac, Aleppo pepper flakes, toasted pine nuts. Hmm. Okay, we're in the stews chapter. Beiruti meatballs. Beef and fava beans in yogurt. Jews mallow chicken soup. Jews mallow or molokia is a vegetable that's found in abundance during the spring and summer months in the mountains of Lebanon. Hmm. Iraqi lemon kibbeh. Lebanese tortellini. Wow. This is amazing. I'm going to have to go back and look through this again by myself. Mom's okra yakini. That looks like a delicious stew. Green beans and tomato sauce. I'm skipping ahead to the rice and greens chapter. I love rice. Here's a Drew's Saffron Mansaf or Mansaf? Mansaf? Mansaf or Mansaf is a typically Middle Eastern dish of lamb simmered in yogurt. Okay. Here's something called Maklube. It is an upside down cake, a delicious rice dish found all over the Middle East. Okay. Spice Lamb Frike. Sleepy Harbor Hake. What is that? Fish with rice and onions. Okay. Spring fava bean and cilantro pilaf. Fig, walnut, and frika salad. Buttery noodle rice. Cumin and caraway spiced Lebanese couscous. And now we're on the breads and pastries chapter. Ooh, what kind of bread is it? Sumac spiced lamb pitas. And here they are making things together. I'll have to read about that later. Here's za'atar manoush, which is a breakfast bread, one of the national dishes of Lebanon. And the ingredients are flour, yeast, of course, salt, sugar, olive oil, water, blah, blah, blah. But the topping is olive oil, za'atar, feta cheese, and mint leaves. That sounds amazing. Pomegranate and tahini beef pastries, saida sausage rolls, Drew's breakfast breads, and the ingredient there is ground lamb with allspice and eggs. Okay, desserts and sweets. Let me just show you a couple. Carob molasses and tahini French toast. Pumpkin and rose water something. Peanut honeycomb. Pistachio and clotted cream ice cream. Now that sounds good. I like pistachios. And a beautiful Lebanese night's dessert. Wow, I think I'm going to have to actually own this one because I'm going to have to return this to the library. This was awesome. Let me know what you thought of this cookbook in the comments below. If you're going to purchase one, there's an affiliate link on YouTube if you pull down the description. Anyway, if you enjoyed our cookbook review, you can see more of them on YouTube. And we post cookbook news to cookbookdivas.com, talk about cookbooks on Facebook and Instagram, and we have a podcast called Cookbook Divas that you can listen to if you enjoy that kind of thing. Thanks so much for watching.